Bowling a perfect game is no easy task for even an experienced bowler, let alone an 11 year old. The one Minot bowler continues defying the odds throughout his young career. The sport of bowling began as just a way to have fun for Minot's Tatum Lee. First I started bowling with friends. Um, I used, then I started to bowl often, more and more. Um, the thing that I like about it is just like knocking down the pins, um, throwing the ball in different places, see what would happen. But two years ago, his talent began to emerge. At his age, he is such a coachable kid because he had, didn't have any bad habits. He was a new bowler that wanted to become the greatest bowler. Um, and so he, he practiced and practiced and practiced to become as good as he can be. Like he started off like 70s and like in a matter of days it feels like he was shooting 150s, you know, just off the bat. I had like a 125 average. I started bowling the league and then after that started bowling tournaments and here I am. Tatum put in countless hours improving at the sport, becoming the youngest person to bowl a sanctioned perfect game in state history back in May after coming close to the 300 mark in previous rounds. It was super exciting. Um, when I threw the ball, when it left my hand, my mind kind of just blanked out. Then when I turned around, I saw everybody clapping, cheering for me. It was crazy. I, I was bowling like three pairs away from him. My, my dad comes, he's like, Tat Tatum's got front seven. I'm like, oh, hold up. It comes back again, Tat Tatum's got front eight. I'm like, all right, now I got to start watching now. You know, so, so I'm trying to bowl, I'm peeking over, you know, he's got nine. He's got 10. On uh, the 12th one, I went, went and sat behind his dad. His dad's shaking. It was really cool. It wasn't a surprise to me. Um, he had been fairly close before. Um, and just like Nick said, watching him practice uh, over the last few years, it's been uh, n not a surprise that he shot a 300 game. But it's amazing at his age uh, that he can do such a feat. One way the bowling prodigy stands out from the competition is he's not afraid of a challenge, like bowling on lanes with challenging oil patterns. In the sport of bowling, there's an invisible demon called oil. You can't see it. Depending on how you put the oil out there, there's you can make them make it so you can almost always get a strike, or you can make it so you can almost never get a strike, depending on how much how much oil and where you put the oil on the lane. And he loves to bowl on the harder patterns, which most of the kids don't like. Bowling a couple games on those super hard oil patterns, they're pretty fun, but they're super challenging. You try to figure out where you throw your ball. He's also built a good foundation of fundamentals. Somebody has bowled for years, they've created habits, uh, created muscle memory and things like that. So uh, you have to coach that out of them and it just takes a lot of repetitions and a lot of time. Um, and, and that's one thing with Tatum is he puts in the time. He practices, I mean, 30, 40, 50 games a week every weekend. He's up here Friday and Saturday nights and he's working on his game. Not only is he just coming to bowl, but he's coming to work on his game uh, and perfect the skill. And those close to the Minot preteen all believe he has a bright future in the sport. He'll break all my all my junior records that I set. You know, I had four MVPs. He'll he might even have seven, six. You know, he, he might win MVP his seventh grade year. You know, he's crazy good. Um, he, he's gonna keep going to nationals, junior gold in July. He took I think top 20 last year. And I think he's gonna just build off, get better off of that. And then I foresee him going to one of the one of the big powerhouse colleges for bowling. I think that Tatum will uh, will succeed in bowling. The cool part about the youth program now across the country is there is so much scholarship money available, so many tournaments um, that are catering to these kids that I think he'll he'll do great. I think he'll continue to bowl. He will uh, make a ton of scholarship money and he'll continue to succeed uh, over the next few years for sure. Um, and as long as he stays on top of his game, I, I think he'll be one of the best in the region. If you'd like to see more bowling content from Tatum, you can follow him on TikTok at Tatum Lee Bowling.